<laughs> I wonder if I like it with this light off. Let's see. Hold on, y'all. I'm playing around with the lighting. <laughs> No, I'm going to turn the light back on. Hey, guys. All right. I am one hour late <laughs> to my own live. Sorry, guys. I went out to eat at, literally at 5.50 p.m. And I knew it, too. So, sorry, guys. It was my favorite restaurant Hey, Tiara. Hey, Jitty. Oh, my gosh. It's nice to see everybody uh, who was here previously up here. Everybody say hi in the chat box, all that I know you're here. Be nice to hear from you guys. Today, we're going to be going over my shortcomings <laughs> for my February goals. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen while all of you guys come in. Share your screen. How's everybody doing? Hey, Tiffany. How has your February gone for you? Hmm. I need to close some of these screens. <laughs> I have way too many screens up right now. Um, we're going to close this. And we're going to close this. Hey, Cash, Cash, I'm going to go ahead and just download this so that, how can I share you? Exit. Hey, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. I definitely recognize your name. It was so nice talking to you on Skype not too long ago. Thanks so much for referring um, your friend to me. All right, I think this is right. I want to be able to see this, so we'll do that. There we go. And I'll put this here. Today has been a good day. It's been kind of busy, but it's been a really good day. All right, I think we could do it like this. Should I be next to it? Yeah, I think I could be next to it. Please excuse my cat having a little aneurysm right now. <laughs> and you guys hear my cat? <laughs> hey, Latal, Latalia. I think I said that right. L Latalia. That's a really pretty name. All right, guys. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump in. Thanks so much for you guys coming to the March goals. Today, we're going to be going over all the goals that we're expecting to accomplish in March. But before we can do that, we have to go over February. So in February, here is my vision board that I put into my vision journal. And remember, if you guys want a vision board journal so you guys can like cut and paste and, and like have a journal that you guys look at all the time, um, like I do, you can get it from my website. Let's jazz it up too. Um, right here on the screen. Um, I don't have my board on me. I think it's in the room over there because I seriously need to look at it more often. So the goals that didn't happen in February was pole dancing. I said I was going to do pole dancing because I wanted to do something for myself, but I just didn't have time. I was definitely thinking about the money as well. All of my money was going into the new rental and I was just like, I just don't think I want to spend money on something like this while I'm trying to save up and pay for the contractors, pay for the materials, pay for everything. It was just adding up. So I ended up not doing the pole dancing, but I will get to it in March. I'm promising myself that I'm going to do it in March because 
if it's down on my vision board, eventually it needs to happen. I try to strive for that stuff to happen during the month that I do put it up for, but I just didn't think it was a smart thing to do in, in March, knowing that I had so much stuff to pay for. So Tommy, you're welcome. It was great talking to you as well. Kind of rushed, but definitely will book to put our minds together. Justice was his name, and that was my boyfriend. Oh, yeah, you guys look exactly alike. <laughs> I mean, like literally, like you guys look like you're related, <laughs> but that's what they say about like significant others. You guys end up like looking like each other. Hey, Tracy. Good vibes. Latalia. That's really pretty. Okay. So stripping, oh, pole dancing. I keep calling, wanting to call it stripping. Pole dancing did not happen, but something that did happen was I did reach 50 subscribers on Let's Talk It Up, my podcast. So I'm really, really, really happy to be able to say that. Um, let me zoom into it here. Yay. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the podcast, it's Let's Talk It Up. You could probably type in Let's Talk It Up podcast on YouTube and subscribe. That would be like really awesome if you guys could do that. Actually, I'll show you guys really quickly. I just posted a video up there today. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's talk it up podcast. Yeah, if you guys don't mind a little girl talk, this is the podcast right here. This is the video that um, I posted today, why I stayed after being cheated on. So it's just really good things to like talk about and stuff. But yeah, I'm so happy that you guys are like interested and, and want to actually subscribe to that. Now, decorate rooms. Yes, I was successful. I spent almost every penny trying to get my rental up on the inside in time for a photographer to come March 6th to take pictures of the inside of the cabin so we can finally list it on Airbnb and hopefully we can make money on the Airbnb this month. Um, build fire pit. We bought a fire pit, but we didn't build it. We're going to build one in a few days. So we're building a fire pit out in Tennessee in a few days. We're leaving for Tennessee and we're going to actually build it. I was going to be okay with just like buying the fire pit, but it just didn't fit aesthetically what I was like going for. So I was like, let me not be cheap. and <laughs> Let me just build the $300 fire pit. Um, fix the wells. Yes. So the first well on my cabin is done. It's fixed. The water is good. It's no longer contaminated, but I did not fix the well at the tiny house. That is happening this Friday. So it, half of it is true. And Oh, I hate when things kind of spill over to the beginning of the next month because I want to hit my goals the month of. Like I expect the month of. That's why I strive so hard to get things done so quickly. It's because I want to meet my expectations. I don't care about other people's expectations for me. I want to meet my expectations. But yeah, you know, so you win some and you lose some. Build patio. Nah, we're doing that. In a few days, <laughs> we're actually going to build the patio in a few days. We have the plans drawn up. We have the prices um, already set. Um, we're going to build it as well. So everything's like in plan for this weekend, but we haven't done it. So there's a lot of things. Oh, okay. And the last was finished the empty lot on my tiny home. If you saw my video that I posted, you'll see that we did finish the fin the the, the uh, the lot. We do need to get some grass, but we've planted grass seeds and they should kind of be sprouting now. Um, so that's going to take a line, but yeah, uh, you win some and you lose some. So out of my vision board, one, two, three, I'll say four, four and a half got done. I got a fire pit. I just didn't build a fire pit. <laughs> so I'm still going to count that as a win. I have a fire pit. So I want to hear, uh-oh, I want to hear about y'all's goals. I went over my February ones, but I want to know, did anything, was anything accomplished for you guys last year? Like, that's what I want to know. I want us to have that chat in uh, going right now so I can talk to you guys. Um, where is my thing? Have you ever regret it? Yeah, so did you guys accomplish anything? I think I need to write something down here for you guys. Let's go back to the chat. 
All right. Oh, wow. I'm doing salsa dancing. It's free in Virginia Beach or Norfolk. What? It's free? Can you put down below where I can go do that? Maybe we can meet up and go do that together. Salsa dancing for free? Oh. Oh, that's going to be so fun. I want to do that. Um, we always get that. And yay, congratulations. Thank you, Tommy. Hi, Carter. Hey, pretty lady. Are you still doing Spanish lessons? Okay, so I did Spanish lessons for about one or two months. And then I stopped because all of my money was going towards the rental. And I know like you should take some time to, you know, do things for yourself. But I just really wanted to get this source of income up and running that I completely stopped things to do for myself. But I will probably put that on a vision board pretty soon. Maybe not for March because I want you guys to see the cool things I have for March up there. Um, but maybe for April, I think I'll put that back on my on my vision board. Um, I let one of the f I let one of the five, but it was the biggest one. I got my book outline completely done. Carter, what's your book about? I forget if you told me already if you were in a last live, but I want to hear about your book. Tell us about your book, Carter. Um, Latoya, Le can you put the information in the comment box so that I can go to the Spanish, so I can go to the salsa class? Like, we might meet each other. I, come on. Don't hide the information. I want to know. I didn't set any goals for February, so not sure, but hopped on this live to set goals for March. Yes, Tommy. All right. So let's just get into it super quick. I'm tired. I had a big, big dinner. So you guys know about, it's called the itis when I, you eat so much. Um, what is going on here? Uh-oh. All right. Let me just redo it. Technical difficulties. I feel like my Canva is like so personal. So it's like it kind of scared showing people like the homepage for my Canva. <laughs> all right. So we are going to delete all of this stuff for February. And, ooh, actually, let me redo that. I actually want to have the podcast up. All right. Delete. Actually, that's going to stay up as well. This can go, this can go. We can always keep the money right here. So we're going to keep that there as well. All right, so we're going to change this to March. Remember, you guys, at least start listing down your goals or finding pictures for your goals or if you have your vision board ready already, um, at least start writing. I really want you guys to like us to hold each other accountable. So before I start mine, I'm going to give you guys a question. What is your first goal for February? What is your first goal? Put it in the chat box. And let me get mine up because I actually jotted them down really quickly. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I just got a, at 6.50 PM, I got an alert for a signing loan signing. So let me show you guys that. I really don't like when they don't put the, um, the amount of money they're going to give you for it, but I didn't click on this one. It's for March 3rd. I'll be in, yeah, I'll be in uh, Tennessee March 3rd. Oh, it's already taken. I can't even show you guys how much it was. All right. So for the first March goal, is I want 70 subscribers on Let's Talk It Up, my podcast. Um, it's a very small goal. I do love setting attainable goals. So it's very tiny, but it means something to me. So I want 70 subscribers. I'm only at, I'm at 64 right now, so it's not a big one. It's very obtainable. I want something easy that I can accomplish. So I hope you guys can totally subscribe to that. Um, then I, I'm keeping build patio up here. So because we didn't do it, like we didn't accomplish it. And I'm also going to keep pole dancing up here, but I'm going to add ribbon silks. So I don't know if you guys know what ribbon silks is, but it's the girls who get on like the ribbons that fall from the, from the gym, from the gym ceiling. And they like do flips and turns up in the air. I want to take an aerial ribbon silk class. So there is no picture up there that 
identifies that. So aerial ribbon silk. I want to do something cool like that. So, oh, this one's pretty. Let's do this one. Copy and import. Yeah, so I want to take a pole dancing class and a ribbon silk class. Um, I really want to work on, you know, my upper body strength and getting my core moving and stuff. So I think that's going to be fun. And I found it in Virginia Beach. So anybody who's in Virginia with me, um, you can actually just drop into this class. So it's called, it's a kind of, I think it's kind of expensive, but Aerial Ribbon Silk Class. So yeah, I'm challenging myself physically for March. I want to really focus on doing something for myself when, when these uh, cabins are up and rented. All right, so y'all's first goal, going back up in the chat box. Um, how did you find your lender by, ref by referral? Um, the first one, the first lender that I found was because I'm a loan signing agent, I knew their paperwork. I knew that they had good interest rates. I liked them as a company, so I did them. The second lender um, was a referral from my real estate agent. I trust my real estate agent 100%, so I went with his referral. It They had a really high closing costs, really high closing costs, and I do like the lender a lot. Like I really like the people that I went through on a personal level, but the previous lender, I would choose their closing costs because it's way cheaper because they're a bigger company and all of that. So um, do you want me to give you my lender information? Are you looking to buy a house? Because that'd be awesome. Um, I started on an Airbnb in Georgia and relaunched my career coaching business, Rufado. Okay. Um, so your rental business, your Airbnb in Georgia, is it in Atlanta? Is it Savannah? Is it out in the National Forest? Um, there's so many places in Atlanta, or I'm sorry, in Georgia that you can do Airbnb. Georgia's a really good state to start Airbnb in. Okay, Carter, I didn't, it's a nonfiction coaching book about death and transformation. Wow. That's a deep, deep one. You must have like some sad experiences, Carter, if that's what your book's about. I like books about the afterlife, you know, not so much like God and Jesus, but like in reincarnation and the journey of a soul. I mean, there's an actual book out there called Journeys of the Soul about people remembering their past lives. I, I'm really getting into that. I would love to get started on my vending machine business this year. Okay. What do you, how are you going to make that happen in March? Like, are you saving up? Do you have a savings goal for March? So what the point of this is, this live, is us to make small goals that lead us to our yearly goal. So how are we going to do that or start on that dream in March? You have inspired me to make a vision board. I just started doing pop-up shops for small business. I want to start a podcast as well. Okay, Sheila, yay, congratulations. What are you doing at pop-up shops? Like, what are you selling? Come on. If you guys are going to tell me your goals, I need you guys to brag about what you're doing. Put your websites in the comment box. Like, I want to see that. Brag, you guys. Talk to each other so that there might be someone in the comment box that uh, has something that you could talk to them about or that they may want to buy from you. Bring 5K. Isabella, are you saying you want to save 5K for March? Because I have a savings goal as well in March, and I'm going to go over that. To book two to three more trips for my clients. I am a travel agent on the side. Oh my God, Tommy. I want to do travel retreats. So I want to go to like Mexico or Colorado or Florida. And I, and like a bunch of girls who are like entrepreneurs or want to be an entrepreneur. And we all go to a destination and we like have like business class, business meetings. We give like, coach each other, we network, and we take killer pictures, we do marketing photography for our businesses. Like I want to do that. That's like my like top goal in life right now. 
My first goal is to get the get the process started to become a notary public signing agent. Okay, that's a very obtainable goal in March, Brittany. I need to make one of these. Uh, Jazz, please, let's do that. That's what we're doing right now. Let's do it today. Let's do it today. At least get a pen and paper out and start listing down your goals and stuff while we, while we go through. Hello, Jazz, just curious. Are you still doing the vending candy machine? You're doing big things. Congrats. Yes, Paul. Actually, if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen me vending today, actually. Let me bring up my story really quickly. Um, I actually went vending today. Do, 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 do. So even though I don't post stuff on, on like YouTube, I still kind of like try to um, do it on my Instagram and stuff. So yeah, that was today. I did a lot of rental stuff today and vending and signings and stuff. So my, my day was kind of busy, but it was a really good day. All right. So I have a few goals up here already for you guys. So go ahead and tell me about your second goal. What is your second goal for March? Remember, you don't have to have a lot of goals. Um, you can have, oh, my cat just jumped up here. You can have like three to five goals. I just have more goals this month because there's just so many things that are related to each other that I decided to just like, okay, this is going to be my goals. So I want to rent my tiny house out. I'm really hoping I can like rent my tiny house out <laughs> um, this month. Let's see. Do I have a picture of my tiny home? Okay. So let's do me. Let's put me up here. So we're going to erase that. And let's send backwards. Send backwards. And <laughs> send it backwards. And we'll move the money to over here. Oh, my God. It looks like I'm pole dancing for money like a stripper. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just bring it up here. I don't like that. Ah, right here. That's cute. All right. So I want to rent, rent tiny house. Tiny house. There we go. So that's up there. I also want to make... 6,000 in rental income. So I have my money thing up here, but let's do a photo. Let's see if we can do 6,000. Maybe they have 6K. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you need to like actually have a specific money goal. Like one of the girls in the chat box says she wanted to save 5,000. Like you have to be very specific on like what is your money goal. So I'm going to do this, this picture. And I'm going to write 6,000 up there. So 6K rental. And then income because I want to have the cabin rented out. Maybe the tiny house will be ready. So we might make more than that, but I want to at least make 6K. So 6K rental income. Um, so yeah, rent tiny house, rent. I want to rent my cabin. Um, but that's like a no brainer. I don't know if I should put that up there. 6K in rental income, finished patio. Ah, all right, so let me go to you guys. What do you guys want? What's your second goal? Look at the chat box. My first goal is to get processed. Okay, I need to make one of these. Oh my God, me too. Aerial dancing, yes. Walmart has those. Actually, I want to do air. Isn't like ribbon, aerial, ribbon silk, aerial yoga? Like, isn't that the same thing? Free salsa is in Norfolk. The Mamba Room from 6.30 to 7.30 on Monday. So I'm going to take a picture of that because I am going to salsa dance. Thanks, Latalia. Or Latalia. I'm so sorry. Latalia. Thank you. I do, but it's more from a spiritual perspective. I'm a spiritual coach Reiki practitioner. Oh my God, Carter, that's so awesome. Um, do you have a goal on how many clients you want a month? Um, I love like setting goals for like how many clients I want. It's Amaya and Mary Jane Creations. I do candles, wax melts, and custom t-shirts. So 
you know, spring is coming. If not, it's already here. I think it's like March 21st. Spring is here. Um, pop-up shops are like big, super, super big. They, they definitely start popping up a lot. So let's get into a lot of pop-up shops. Um, my first goal is to get my business YouTube page up to 25 so I can secure my vanity URL. Okay. So you need 25 subscribers. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Content creating workout, start kickboxing classes again, drink more water. Yeah. Sign up for your kickboxing class tomorrow, unless you can do it tonight. Go ahead and, and type in that kickboxing class. Second goal is to get my son's room decorated. I always wanted a themed room when I was so little, and I really want to do that for for my big boy. Okay, what's the themed room that he wants to do, Brittany? That's going to be so cute. Net 5K and exercise three times per week. That is so obtainable, Isabel. I love that you're putting a specific number on like the money that you want. Please inform all veterans in Texas about Senate Bill 938, free entity formation. Already signed up, just have to go. Oh, Tommy, come on, let's do it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to have, I'm hoping to have my first aerial, silk aerial dancing thing on March 7th. I just don't know if I'm going to be home in time from Tennessee. Um, but I'm going to call tomorrow. I'm going to call and ask her how much that class is for me to do, to jump in. All right. So remember, you guys, put down what's your second goal of the March month. And I'm about to do mine. I'm really excited about the 6K rental income. Like, fingers crossed, y'all. Fingers crossed. Okay. Hot tub. I want two hot tubs. A hot tub on the tiny house um, land and on my um, my cabin. So, I feel like this is getting kind of messy. So, I mean, that's fine, right? I think that's fine. Let's do hot tub. Let's do cabin hot tub. I think that'd be cute. Oh no, they don't have it up here. All right, let's get a good picture for the hot tub. I think this is a good one. Oh no, I like this one. This one is my aesthetic because it's in the forest. Ooh, wait, should I do the long way or should I do this way? What fits better? How many more do I have to do? Oh, well, not too many. So let's do the big one. Oh my God, this is such my aesthetic. You guys know I love the forest. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Oh my God, this looks so good. All right, and let's get this. I have to crop it. There we go. That's kind of small. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Okay, we want two hot tubs. Two hot tubs. Jesus Christ. Hot tubs are so expensive. But you know what? It's for the rental. I'm going to make more money if I have it up there, so I'm going to get it. All right, guys. So let's go back to you. Chat box. Um, I recently passed my notary exam and sent out my application, so I'm just waiting for my commission to come in the mail. Great. Great job, Ivy. Um, maybe while you're waiting, you could get your background check. Um, maybe you should do that. Jungle. He loves animals. That's going to be so cute, Brittany. What you should do for your vision board is you should sit down on like Photoshop or on Canva and like design it like, like, like how I'm doing. So that like when you go up to do it, you're like, oh, it came, it came to life. It came true. Um, March 7th is my birthday. Happy birthday, Cindy. What are you going to do for your birthday? And how old are you turning? I'm in New York, so I'm nervous about getting consistent work here. New York, New York is huge. There's, there shouldn't be any problem getting work out there. Oh, you guys, my mom is in, <laughs> is in the chat box. My mom says, I want to grow my tarot and life coach biz. I think you will, mom. You keep hustling on YouTube, putting your videos out. You're going to get more people who consistently come to you for tarot reading. So if you guys want to have a tarot card reading, go to my mom's channel, Ascension Soul Coach. 
Let's see if I can like put her on the screen. Um, oh, here we go. There we go. Here's my mom. Boom. <laughs> there you go, mom. Don't say that I don't be supporting you. Everybody go subscribe to her YouTube channel. It's Ascension Soul Coach on YouTube. Um, I'm aiming to take mine next weekend. Oh, gosh. Fingers crossed that you pass. Uh, purchase photo booth for my photo booth company. Create websites and business cards. Tommy, you're doing all of that in March? That's a big one. Nice. Um, can I run my notary business without a computer right now? Um, if you have a library card, yeah. I mean, if you have a um, an iPad or a tablet, you just need something to upload documents on and to at least view the email so that you can print them out. So maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I've been thinking about going for my appraiser's license. Oh my God, that's such a good one. But it's not a goal just yet. I still, I'm still doing my research and trying to find a school nearby. Do it. If you can find a place online or nearby, do it. These appraisers are getting money like nothing else. Like I had an appraiser charge me an extra $700 or $1,000 to get them out so that I could close on my property. And I paid it. I paid it. I was just like, okay, go ahead. Because I wanted to close on my property. Um, all right. So let's do your third goal. Because mine is like still the same. Let's go. What else did I have? Um, I want to save $3,000 in March. It's a small savings goal, but you guys, I've spent so much of my income on my property that it's to the point where I need to rebuild my savings account again. And I got to start small. I got to start somewhere. So I want to save 3 k So that's what this money bag over here is for. But let's see if they have a 3 k up here. Um, this is three times. I want, okay. It looks like a K. We could do that. So 3K right here. So we have money goals this month for me. 6K in rental income and 3K in savings. That is my goal. Let me go back to you guys. <laughs> Everybody says, hi, mom. <laughs> Um, can I get my background check if my driver record isn't the best IV? You need to seriously get the background check immediately because I do not want you to be buying more things for your rent for your notary business if you're not allowed to do it because of your background check. So please buy the background check immediately so that you can see if you can pass that background check. Like I don't want you spending any more money on anything notary until you get that approval from the background check. I don't want to scare you. I just want to save you money. Uh, better me. No, you cannot. What do you mean? Why are you saying no? My next goal is to get back to belly dancing. Oh my God, Carter, you know how to belly dance? I wish I knew how to belly dance. See, I thought I could belly dance, but really I couldn't. I won't. It, I was shaking something, but I won't shake in the right stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm convinced. Yes, Ivy. Please, please, please. And you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so I wasn't planning on being up here too long today. Um, one, because I was late. <laughs> and two, because uh, I don't feel like my goals are that big. They are big. Let me not lie to myself. <laughs> they're big, but I feel like they're obtainable. They're all obtainable. Okay, so 70 subscribers on Let's Talk It Up. All right, my last goal for March was I want to mentor more people um, through my website. So I have a mentorship on like helping people see the potential of other side hustles that they can create to maximize their money or to learn how to do rentals, anything that you can think of that you need to come to me for. I want to mentor people on that. So 
I want to, I hate how like the pictures for mentorship over here isn't that good, but let's see. Do they have anything for mentorship? Um, they have this blue one. Anything? I want something pink. And then they have this black one. Ooh, I kind of like this one. That's cute. For like mentoring. Um, but I wanted to actually say mentorship. So let's do this one. Edit the background. So I do a mentorship. I think a lot of you guys already know that, but I want to have like more, like more friendships with people. Um, that's like my favorite side hustle that I do is mentoring and helping and talking to people more than the notary 101, more than loan signing, more than YouTube. Oh, I like this better. So we'll apply that. And um, should I delete this? I kind of like this. But my pictures are. There we go. We can move her. Put this here. And then make this smaller. Yeah. Is this working? Let's move this over here. Huh. Does this look good? The aerial classes is like getting... There we go. Yeah, I want more mentorship students. So, this is my March spread for my monthly goals. We have 6K in rental income, 70 subscribers on Let's Talk It Up, rent my tiny house, also rent the cabin, um, purchase two hot tubs. I don't know if they'll be able to be set up because we have to work on the electricity, but two hot tubs. Um, get more students for under the mentorship for my website. Pole dance, aerial ribbon, silk class, and then build the patio. We are doing about two of those this weekend. So I'm going to try to rent the, the tiny house this weekend. We're building the patio this weekend. I'm actively trying to get students for mentorship. Um, I am saving. I am saving. So I'm doing a lot, actually. All right, guys, I want you to put your last goals down. So let's go to the captions. The last goal is what is your fourth goal for March? And then I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit. Uh, my goal in general is a new spring and summer wardrobe. Oh, my God. I love shopping. I would love to do that with you. <laughs> um, you got this, girl. Thank you, Tommy. You too. Um, you inspire me to work hard. Dina, it's because I love working. But it's, I, I love working because I love what I do. Everything I do is something that I love. So it's easy to work when you like what you do. How's everything? Do I sign up for mentorship on your website? I know I've probably asked that before. Just double checking. Yeah, everything's on my website. Um, let's just go to it really quickly. So this is my podcast, you guys, but I'm going to go to my website really quick. So it's just Let's Jazz It Up too. You guys can also rent my cabin on Let's Jazz It Up as well. Um, but yeah, these are like everything, everything that I offer and stuff. I have like notary bags up here, the notary class, the vision board journals. So I do everything um, up here. And my website's not fancy. It's pretty basic, but I like basic. <laughs> um, so yeah, my website, I'm going to keep it here <laughs> for you guys. Um, Isabel, you inspire me. Last goal is to read one book, any book that catches my interest. Mm. What's a book that I recommend? Mm. I have a book that I recommend. Okay. It's a really sad book, <laughs> but maybe you'll like it. Um, I like true story books. Like I like, I like nonfiction stories about uh, global things. So they poured fire on us from the sky. This book made me cry. I mean, like legit cry. So I recommend this book. Mm. It's such a sad, sad story. So they escape Sudan. These boys escape Sudan during the war. 
um, their parents were killed and they're seeking refuge um, in different countries and stuff. It was such a sad read, but I recommend that book. <laughs> it's not a self-help developing book though. Um, last goal. I want to focus on self-care more. Yeah, Brittany, that's why I wanted to do the, um, aerial classes and the pole dancing classes because I feel like that focuses on my body. It focuses on my health and I really need to be healthier. I've just been really messing with my messing up my body recently. As long as it gets gets the job done, that's all that matters. Did you create your website on your own? Yeah, I created my website on my own. Um as a skill that I was like I need to learn eventually. Um so I really forced myself to sit down and learn learn how to do it. This, this learning how to do this Gatlinburg rental thing for book your stay, learning how to put this calendar up here for it to be rented out was so hard. It took me all night to learn how to do that. So it's, I, I don't mind doing it because it makes me learn new skills. So, um, yeah, I got to keep myself savvy, right? <laughs> All right, same here. A book a month is my goal. I love sharpening skills and increasing my knowledge. Yeah, the, well, the one that I, the book that I recommend it, it doesn't, it's, it's just a story, a real story about these kids in the Sudan War. Um, but it's nothing like, you know, like a, it's not a self help book. But it did put in perspective how lucky I am as a person. It really grounded me when I was younger, hearing stories about other children who just went through hell, went through hell, kept me very grounded. Um, sell 10 items from thrifting in my printer. Isabel, that is such a good goal. You can do it. Sell 10 items from, from thrifting. That's going to be a really, really good goal for you. Hey, Frank, it's nice to see you. So guys, that is my vision board. Um, Thank you so much for company for coming. Let me actually find my vision board and put it up here. So we're gonna title this March Goals so I don't accidentally delete it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had fun. This was a really quick one. Next time I really want you guys to like have an actual journal a physical journal for this because I really I don't actually do the online one I just do the online one for you guys I have an actual journal that I use for for pictures and stuff and I print it out and I write in it it's like a real personal journal that I can go back and look on so I do have those on my website as well if you want them but I really appreciate you guys always stopping by it was always nice talking to you guys I cannot find myself <laughs> where am I I can't find myself. Where am I? Y'all, I'm lost. Oh, there I am. <laughs> I couldn't find the camera. All right, so thanks so much, you guys. I really appreciate it. Come back for the April one. We're going to do it April. I try to do the first of every month. So April 1st, I'm going to try my best to do that. Um, but just like I did a few days ago, I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel community bar so you guys can see that I am going live and what day and what time and stuff. Next time is going to be 7 p.m. because every time I say 6, I never come up here at 6. Um, I'm a list person, but same concept. Yes, as long as you're writing it down, as long as you're remembering it, I think pictures are better because you can literally visualize it. You can see it. It, it seems more tangible than, than a list. Um, but whatever works for you guys, um, that's good with me. Um, yeah, you're going to have to catch the replay, okay? All right, guys. Thanks, Mom. Look, you guys, my mom's up here again. Let me go ahead and show her comment. Follow my mom's uh, YouTube channel, Ascension Soul Coach. All right, guys. Good night.